Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, my name is Lisha Andriana from International Program of Islamic Economic Finance Universitas Muhammadiyah Yogyakarta In this occasion, I will present about the foreign exchange rate for international finance forces Let's just start it Okay, what is foreign currency? I think a lot of people have heard this sentence about the foreign currency through the television or neither they, ha- they will go to the another country. Let's just go to the first definition. Foreign currency is part of the foreign exchange rate. It's the ratio between one currency to the other currency. You can get the You can get another currency through the bank or trusted dealer around your home or your state. A currency states its value of money and to another currency. How do we know about the value in foreign currency? Okay, let's see to this example. The example states that the euro per US dollar in 1.3000 it means that 1 euro equal to 1.3000 US dollar you can also state that 1 euro could be exchanged to 1.3000 US dollar but how we if we found out how we know the its value from the banks if the bank shows that the euro per us dollar is around 1.3000 until 1.3005 it means that the bank will buy one euro from the customer at 1.3000 us dollar Another statement that the bank will sell one euro to the customer at 1.3000 US dollar and then the customer will buy one euro from the bank at 1.3005 US dollar so it means that if you want to buy the foreign currency from the bank they will they will cost the, for one euro is 1.3000 US dollar Another fact about the currency, the currency is determined in spot market, called as spot currency or spot rate. The currency has two values that are bid rate or buying rate and ask rate or selling rate. Selling rate or ask rate is higher than bid rate, causing the gap which called the spread. The spread exists as part of the transaction cost which is profitable for bank or dealer. So for example, if you want to exchange from 100,000 rupiah to the dollar, it will be more expensive than you convert the rupiah to the US dollar through your phone. That's why that that's why we called it the spread. This gap is called the spread which is is part of the transaction cost for the bank and the dealer. The next is types of quotation. The quotation in foreign exchange rate has four types. The first is direct quotation. The second is indirect quotation. The third is European quotation. And the last is American quotation. Okay, we go to the first quotation that is called direct quotation. The direct quotation represents a unit of foreign currency expressed to local currency. Okay, we go to the first example, the local, the cases in Indonesia, and the cases in Japan. We can see from the example that 12,000 rupiah per one dollar or it means that one US dollar equal to 12,000 rupiah as well as if the if we in quotation local in Japan that 110 yen is equal to one US dollar which is to both of them quote as the 
USD per IDR is 12,000 and USD per GPY is GPY 110. The next is indirect quotation. Indirect quotation represents of one unit of local currency to foreign currency. It means that if you want to exchange the one unit of the currency to another currency. So we go to the example case in Indonesia. We, we also know that 12,000 rupiah is equal to one US dollar. So one rupiah is equal to one per 12,000. That is one around 0 0.00083 US dollar. So the indirect quotation is 0 0.00083 dollar per one rupiah. So we go on to the next cases in Japan, as well as in the cases in Indonesia that one 110 yen per one US dollar. It means that 100 110 yen is equal to one US dollar. But what about in indirect quotation, in one Japanese yen is equal to one per 110 yen. And that is 0 0.009 US dollar. So the indirect quotation of Japanese yen is 0 0.009 dollar per one yen. So the quota, quotation for indirect quotation is IDR per USD 0.00083 and GPY, GPY per USD is, is 0 0.009. We go to the next quotation is European quotation. European quotation represents one unit of US dollar expressed to another foreign currency. Okay, we go to the, the first example is Japanese yen. 110 yen per 1 US dollar or 1 US dollar is equal to 110 yen. The next example is the Canadian dollar as well as, well as in Japanese yen that 1.1 Canadian dollar Per, you, per 1 US dollar, it means that 1 US dollar equal to 1.1 Canadian dollar. So it quoted as USD per GPY 110 and USD per CAD is 1.1. So in European quotation is when the US dollar currency is expressing its currency to another foreign currency. Shen represents one unit of foreign currency to US dollar currency. We can see the similarity between the European quotation and American quotation. If European quotation, if we if a quotation from the one US dollar to another currency but in American quotation is one of foreign currency expressing to one to US dollar. The first example is Euro. US dollar 1.139 per 1 Euro. It states that 1 Euro is equal to 1.139 US dollar. And the next example is Pound Sterling. As well as the in Euro, from Euro to US dollar, US dollar 1.59 per 1 pound sterling, you can state that 1 pound sterling is equal to 1.59 US dollar. So both of the example, you can quote it as Euro per US dollar 1.139 and written pound sterling or GGP per US dollar 1.59. I think that's all of my presentation about foreign exchange rate in international finance. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.